Hi everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how to make this fireball. This has a request from Neuron. So as you can see it has a black trail and all. Because it will take a long time to make this particle system, I cheated a bit. I am using the P underscore fire particle system from the starter content. You can find it in the starter content folder. So I am going to use that as a template to make our fireball. You also need a spear mesh and the smoke texture from the starter content. So first we are going to make the material for our sphere. So for that, right click on the smoke and create material. Open it up and change this to a unlit material. We don't need to change the blend mode to translucent because we just need the MSC color for this. Now we will press and hold M and click so we get this multiply and connect this to A and connect this to MC color then right click and type in particle color so we get this particle color this node basically allows us to pass colors from the particle system to our material so we can change the color of the material from the particle system itself so connect this to B now I am going to add a rotator so for that right click and type in rotator and connect this to the UV. I will change the speed to 2 and click apply and save. Now I will open up our P underscore fire part of the system and I will double click on all of this to color this for now. So if you double click it will get colored. So do that for all of this. Now right click new particle emitter. We need to change this to a mesh emitter. So for that right click go to type data and mesh data. So this allows us to uh, get meshes in our particle system. So we can use any type of mesh here. Now we will go to our content browser and select this sphere and go to mesh data and click this arrow. So our sphere gets selected. Now go to before that go to mesh data and check override material so we can change the default texture with our new texture. Now click on required and go to our content browser then click on our smoke material and click this arrow so our material gets applied to our static sphere so it is very big and you can see the seam also it doesn't really matter we are going to make it very small so the seam won't even be visible so go to initial size and change this to a distribution vector constant and I will give it a size of 0 0.4, 0 0.4 and 0.4. Now I will delete the initial velocity, we don't need it. And I will go to record. I will change the emitter loop to 1. And I will go to lifetime and change this to distribution float constant and if you give it a value of 0 this mesh won't die so it will last forever and now I will go to spawn and change this value to 0 and go to brush list and click this add element and give it a value of 1 the count should be 1 so we get this single sphere 
the seam doesn't really matter because it is barely noticeable when we finally make our material i mean our parallel system so go to color over life and we just need one point here so i will delete this one so click this and delete then i will get a value of 22 to then one more thing we need to do here is go to required and use local space so it will move and it won't lag behind when we fire it from a projectile that's all we need to do here now i will call off this and expand the first one by double clicking this and couple of things we need to change here is that um we need to go to record and click on use local space so this will move with the sphere also and i will click on this sphere and change the radius to something very low so we can see the sphere now i will give it a value of 5 then i will delete the initial velocity and i will go to the sphere and click on surface only now it will only spawn from the surface of the sphere now go to spawn and change this to 50 and i will change the x value of the constant acceleration to 0 that's all we need to do here now click on the second one we are going to delete the light and the dynamic because we are going to change it into a gpu particle and those modules won't work in the gpu particle so we don't need that now i will right click and go to type data a new gpu sprite now our second flame is so this flame is now a gpu particle so we can spawn many of it we will go to spawn and change this to 0 or 1 whatever you like so we are not going to spawn it using the spawn but we are going to spawn it using spawn per unit so right click and go to spawn spawn per unit so this basically allows us to spawn the emitter based on the speed or the velocity so if i change this to 1 and change this constant to 5 it will spawn a lot of flame when it moves so i will show you so i will drag my fire out see it's going to spawn a lot of fire we don't need that many basically the lower this number is the more a spawns there will be so i will change this to 20 and let's check how it looks I think it is still too much. I will give it a value of 30. So also you can also decrease this value to reduce the number of spawns. Now if I move I think it is still too many. I will change this to 2. So now it is fine. Okay, that's fine. I think that's all we need to do here. 
now we'll open up our smoke emitter so for that double click on that then we need to alt drag and drop this spawn per unit so it get copied here and I will change the spawn to 1 so now let's see so we, you can see that the smoke is not moving I mean the smoke is not trailing like the other plane that because this smoke has used local space ticked so we need to uncheck use local space so that the smoke will trail behind our fire ball so for that go to your smoke emitter and go to record and uncheck this use local space now you can see that the smoke is moving I mean the smoke is trailing if you need to give it a black color then go to color overlay of the smoke and change this value to 1 so it is a bit dark now if you need to go to full dark then change this to black And if you need to get a very pitch black smoke, then go to color over life and change this value to a very dark color, maybe even black. So now I'm just going to drag and drop a new particle system. I'm going to give it a value of 0 so it will be fully black now we will make it into a bullet that can be fired from our first person character so for that right click and click on blueprint class I will name this fireball fireball and I will open it up I will add a sphere collision add component type in sphere collision and I will drag and drop our particle system in so it will fit in the sphere now I will add a projectile movement component so type in projectile movement component this basically allows us to fire our bullet so I will give an x velocity of 3000 and the initial speed and maximum speed I will get the value of 3000 And I will click check this should bounce so it will bounce so in order to make it bounce we need to do something else also we need to drag and drop the sphere into the default scene root to make it the new scene root now we will click on that and go to collision and we will change this to custom and we will check we will tick this box so it will block world static so anything that is a static machine in the world it will bounce off of now click compile and save now in order to fire this we need to do something else also so
go to first person vp then blueprints then open the first person character then this class uh, this is a fireball i made before we will drag our new fireball in here so this we will drag and drop here or you can click this arrow if you have it selected and I will rename this so it is a bit more clear so I will name this ball of fire so you can just drag it in or select this and click this arrow compile and save so we now have our new fire particle system so if you need to reduce the length of the trailing smoke and the flame you can change the lifetime of the individual emitters so if you need to change the lifetime of the smoke go to smoke then lifetime that will give the value of 1 on the maximum and 1.5 I mean I will give it a value of 1 on the minimum and 1.5 in the maximum so it will be a shorter smoke now I don't need the flames to be that low so I will go into your particle system flames then change the lifetime to 0.3 to 0.8 you can make it even shorter if you want so if you give it a value of 0.5 and give the smoke value of 0.5 and 0.7 it will be a bit more shorter so you can play around with this number to get the look you want So that's it guys, this is how you make a fireball in Unreal Engine. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks.